Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Maths Online Class supported by Sri Gogulam Public School Guruvayur. We deal the chapter 13 Direct and Inverse Proportion. In the previous class we discussed what are the conditions for direct proportion and what is the difference between direct and inverse proportion. I hope all of you have learned that topic and you know the concept direct and inverse proportion. Let us do the problems today and you watch the class now. Okay. You can do an example. Let the consumption of petrol be x liters and the corresponding distance travelled be y kilometer. Complete the following table. So here one table is given. We have to calculate the unknown values in this table. Here we have petrol in liters x. First one 4. 4 liters. Corresponding value of y is 60 kilometer. Second one 8. Y2 we have to calculate. Third one 12. Then y3 180. Fourth column 15 and the corresponding value of y we have to calculate. Here if you observe you can see that as the x1, x2, x3, x4 are increasing the corresponding values of y, y1, y3 also are increasing. So here which proportion we have to use a direct proportion. What is the condition for direct proportion? x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. That is x by y is equal to k a constant. The condition for direct proportion is x by y equal to k. k means a constant. You can give any variable here. That means x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2. Substituting the given values we can write 4 by 64 x1 60 the corresponding y1 is equal to 8 by y2. Cross multiplication we can write 4 y2 is equal to 8 into 60. Therefore y2 is equal to 8 into 60 by 4 that is 120 kilometer. So for 8 liters of petrol 120 kilometer can be traveled. Understood the way we have to calculate using the condition of direct proportion. Next unknown is y4, x3, y3, x4, we know. Using these values we can calculate y4 that means the y value of the corresponding x4. So, substitute the values, we will get 1, 12 by 120 by 15 by y4. Cross multiply, 12 y4 is equal to 15 into 180. After calculation, 225 kilometer can be travelled using 15 liters of petrol. Understood the way? You the condition and substitute the values then we can calculate the unknown. Okay. So the required table we can write like this. These values are x values x1, x2, x3, x4. Then this one are y1, y2, y3, y4. So we calculated these two unknowns y2 and y4. Understood the way? Okay. Next example, page number 204, you can see this example. The cost of 5 meters of a particular quality of cloth is rupees 210 for 5 meters. Tabulate the cost of 2, 4, 10 and 13 meters of cloth of the same type. That means 2, 4, 10 and 13 we can take as the x values the corresponding y values we have to calculate. So, normally we know that in real life 
the cost of a cloth will increase if the length of the cloth is increased okay so if the length of the cloth is increased then the cost will also be increased so the situations you should understand and then you can decide which proportion we have to use because after learning the inverse proportion the questions will be come together from which you have to classify the conditions of sorry the situations of direct proportion and inverse proportion okay so here we can solve for these unknown values suppose the length of cloth is x meters and its cost we can take as y values so we can tabulate x values to be the 2 4 5 it is given 10 13 y values to be find out y 2 y 3 given values we took as here x1 and y1 then y4 y5 use the condition of direct proportion we can write x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 here the first unknown is this y2 so given values we can take x1 y2 the unknown values we can take is x2 y2 substitute the values again in the condition we can write 5 by 210 given x1 and y1 and first column 2 by y2 as x2 y2 cross multiply and calculate you can get 42 into 284 so rupees 84 is 4 how much cloth rupees 84 we have to spend for 2 meters of cloth let's search now we got x2 and y2 either you can relate this x2 y2 to calculate x3 and y3 okay so you can or you can use the same x1 and y1 to calculate x3 and y3 here we can use 2 by 84 is equal to 4 by y3 better to use the first quantities if it is known we can use because the smaller number will be the first column if it is in increasing cases okay in the increasing cases the first column will be the smaller value so either you can use that column otherwise any non values you can use to calculation So here two by eighty four is equal to four by y three cross multiplication y three is equal to rupees one hundred sixty eight. Next we can calculate y four. Four is equal to ten. Y four we can calculate x four by y four is equal to x one by y one. Same condition we can write. So substitute five by two hundred ten x one and y one. is equal to x4 by y4 so cross multiply and we will get 420 rupees 424 ten meters of clothes at last we will have to find the cost of 13 meters of cloth so 13 we can take as x5 so y5 taking the same values x1 and y1 5 and 210 and x1 by y1 is equal to x5 by y5 5 by 2 10 13 by y5 cross multiply 5 into y5 is equal to 210 into 13 so y5 is equal to 42 into 13 546 so at last we can conclude the table as given 2 4 5 10 13 only this value had given there we calculated 2 meters 4 meters 10 meters and 13 meters of cloth as this value so you can find here the length of the cloth is increasing then the cost of the cloth is also increasing so this is an example for direct proportion understood do the problems and practice well send the review test answers thank you children